Good afternoon, everybody. So we have big news today, and that uh, is going to benefit as many as 30 million Americans. Starting today, hearing aids will cost thousands of dollars less than before. President Biden's executive order on competition called on the FDA to make hearing aids available over the counter without a prescription. That is now a reality. This week, retailers across the country, including Walgreens, CVS, Best Buy, Walmart, Hive, and Hy-Vee, will start selling over-the-counter hearing aids in-store and online. And adults with mild to moderate hearing loss can buy these hearing aids without a prescription, exam, or even fitting, which will lower average costs by as much as $3,000. That's thousands of dollars going back into the pockets of Americans and providing a little more breathing room in their family budgets as well. Finally, President Biden looks forward to welcoming President Herzog of Israel to the White House on October 26, a visit that underscores the enduring partnership and friendship between the United States and Israel. They will consult on key issues, including regional and global challenges of mutual concern, opportunities to deepen Israel's regional integration, and ways to advance equal measures of freedom, prosperity, and security for both Israelis and Palestinians. President Herzog will be in Washington October 25th and 26th for meetings with a range of interagency officials. With that, Darlene, you want to kick us off? Yes, thank you. Um, I wanted to start by asking, is the president aware of the comments that Donald Trump made yesterday about American Jews um, basically saying that they're ungrateful and they better get their act together, appreciate what they have before it's too late? Given that the White House weighed in pretty uh, forcefully last week to the racist comments by the Los Angeles City Council members, would the White House um, denounce uh, these anti-Semitic comments by the former president as well? So Donald Trump's comments were anti-Semitic, as you all know, and insulting, both to Jews and to our Israeli allies. But let's be clear, for years, for years now, Donald Trump has aligned with extremists and anti-Semitic figures. And it should be, it should be called out, to your point, Darlene, just like we called out our Democratic uh, friends and colleagues last week, and we will condemn and call this out as well. So we need to root out anti-Semitism everywhere. It rears its ugly head. We need to call this out. With respect to Israel, our relationship is ironclad, and it's rooted in shared values and interests. Donald Trump clearly doesn't understand that either. Okay. Uh, just to follow up on that, it was announced earlier today that the rapper formerly known as Kanye West wants to buy the, cons the conservative social media platform Parler. Um, and this comes after he was kicked off of Twitter and Instagram last week for his own set of anti-Semitic comments. Is the White House or the president concerned that uh, should this sale go ahead and that yay be allowed to buy this platform, that it would give him a, another venue for anti-Semitic comments, hateful comments, with no, you know, no gatekeeper, no one to say that's wrong or anything like that? So as you know, when it comes to these types of purchases uh, or agreements, I can't speak to that. Um, so that's not something, the actual you know, uh, agreement or inter interaction, I can't speak to that. But what I can speak to is hateful rhetoric. What I can speak to uh, is insulting rhetoric. What I, can't, what I can't speak, can speak to is anti-Semitism, which is hateful, it is dangerous, uh, and uh, we are going to continue to condemn that type of language because at the end of the day, it is disgusting. And it is, there is no room, absolutely no room, no place in our political discourse to be having that type of really vile uh, conversation or comments being made. President Biden hasn't attended any rallies or events in public in support of candidates in recent weeks. With the midterms just three weeks away, will we begin to see him do that more? What was what was his schedule look like? Wait, can you wait? Can you say your first part? He hasn't attended any rallies or public-facing events with candidates in recent weeks. 
what will his schedule look like in the coming weeks as the midterms get closer? Um, so I have to be careful because I can't. We do. Uh, we do respect the Hatch Act and uh, and our strict limits from here, so I want to be very, very clear, careful. Uh, but I would point you to this, the president's most recent uh, trip to out west. So it's kind of a bizarre uh, question to ask because he was very uh, visible last this weekend and last week. Uh, he was out there, and again, I cannot speak uh, to specific. Uh, uh, you know, elections or campaigns or actions that he's he's taken, but all I will do is point you to his West Coast trip most recently. As far as um, upcoming trips, we've announced that he's going to go to Pennsylvania. We've announced that he's going to go to Florida. He was just in Colorado, Oregon, and California. Uh, and uh, don't, don't have more beyond uh, the next two trips uh, that I have just laid out. Uh, and uh, he's going to be out there with uh, congressional Democrats and elected uh, Democrats to continue to talk about how uh, uh, congressional Democrats and the president has delivered for the American people when it comes to lowering cost, uh, when it comes to making sure that we're creating jobs right here in America, uh, when it comes to what we just announced today with hearing aids. Uh, so he is he is proud uh, of the work that we have done here, and he's going to continue to talk and make sure to talk about it uh, in states uh, and make sure that the American people hear directly from him.